subcutaneous injection supplies what's needed. A filtered needle, an injection needle, either 25 to 27 gauge, 3 eighths or 5 eighths in length, alcohol wipes, gloves, in this case an ampule for medication, and a 1 to 3 ml syringe. To begin, you will set up everything in a nice clean space. You'll take your ampule, you'll take alcohol wipe, you'll cleanse the top of it, let it dry, have another alcohol pad, take the top of the ampule and break it away from you. You'll then <clears throat> have your filter needle attached to a syringe, you'll stick it in, draw up with your filter needle the amount that you need, take it out, technically you'd recap in a safe way, remove the first filter needle, apply the next needle on, and then you'd be ready for your injection. Um, subcutaneous injection administration. Um, at this time I have entered my patient's room, I have identified mm -hmm. myself, performed hand hygiene, I have asked the patient for their name and date of birth to confirm my check. I double checked the medication that we have in the syringe with our EMAR once again. Everything has been correct. Now we're going to pick a site of administration. We have three sites that we can choose from. We have the back of the arm, we have the anterior thigh, and we have the abdominal area. All great areas for subcutaneous administration since it's typically used for insulin and heparin, it is good to do. So now that I have selected my site as the back upper arm here, we'll get to it. My hands have been washed. I'm gonna put on my gloves now. The patient's in a comfortable upright seat position. I'm going to take my alcohol wipe and clean the area. Let that air dry. I'm gonna remove the cap off my needle. We'll take it like a dart. We'll insert it 90 to 45 degrees. We'll inject the medication in as quickly as possible. And we'll apply gentle pressure to the area with gauze or an alcohol pad. Um, the safety shield will go back on the needle. We'll dispose of the needle into the sharps container, remove our gloves, and wash our hands and make sure our patient's in a comfortable position, and that is how you administer a subcutaneous injection. Today we're going to be doing an intermuscular injection, and we'll be reconstituting a powdered medication in a vial. Our supplies that we'll need are a 20 gauge needle to draw the medication, and mix the medication. We will need a 21 gauge needle, either one to one and a half inches in length to administer the medication. Alcohol wipes, a three ml syringe, our two vials for medication and gloves. When preparing with medications and vials, we do want to just like previous, clean the tops with alcohol wipes, like with an ampule, obviously a new one for each let it air dry. At this point, while those are drying, we will be taking our 20 gauge needle and attaching it to the syringe. We will aspirate the amount of air that we want to take from the liquid medication to put into the powder to revive it. Um, so what we'll do is we'll take that, we'll attach, well, in this case, since it's the 3ml, we'll say we're doing 1ml. We will pull back on the syringe, we'll get the air, then we'll insert the needle into the vial. And we will inject the air in, and then we will draw up 1ml, pulling back on the syringe. And we'll hold the syringe at a 90 degree angle just to look, make sure there's no air bubbles. Once we get our 1ml, we'll pull out the needle. I'll tap it, look at it, make sure there's no air bubbles. 
Then what we'll do is we'll take that needle and we'll place it back on carefully and we'll inject it into the powder of the vial with the rubber seal. Once that's in, we'll take, it, take that out. We'll cap that needle back on and remove it and put it in a sharp container, but then we'll take our medication and we'll roll it in our hands to mix the medication. Once the medication is fully capable, we will take another alcohol wipe, cleanse again. We'll take our new needle that we're going to administer with the medication, attach, the attach it to the syringe. And we will also drop the amount we want, so an ML. We'll inject the air in and we'll draw up, pulling back on the barrel of the syringe. We'll watch the same thing and remove it. We'll check for arrows, get them out. We'll recap the needle safely. Now with our hands obviously we're pushing up against something. Set our prepared needle aside and then dispose of our two vials into the sharps container and we will dispose of that and get ready to administer so at this point in time we've entered our patient's room we have our prepared syringe um, with our correct gauge the correct medication correct syringe and we have introduced ourselves to the patient. We have confirmed their identity using either their medical record number and their date of birth or their name and date of birth, both which were correct. The medication, allergies were asked, clarified. Everything's ready to go. We have performed hand hygiene. We have three sites to select from. I'm gonna put on gloves now, but we have three sites. We have the ventral gluteal, which can hold up to three ml. We have the ventral lateral, the vastus lateralis, which can hold three as well. And then we have the deltoid. Um, we're going to use the gluteal um, area today for this medication, which is going to be the orange. And we're using the Z-Track method. Um, again, my hands have been washed. I'm putting on my gloves. I have everything ready. In the gluteal area, I'm going to take an alcohol wipe. We're going to clean the area. At the same time, once that dries, we'll pull the skin back at about 2.5 centimeters to perform the seed track. I'll have like a band-aid here in my hand too, just to be ready to go. Take the needle, stick it in, and gently insert the medication. About 5 seconds per ml, then wait second, 10 seconds and remove, release the skin and apply a band-aid. We do not want to massage the area. We will have disposed of the sharp um, into the container, remove gloves, throw them into the correct receptacle, wash our hands, and then follow up on the patient in about 30 minutes to see how they're doing. Intradermal injection administration setup. So the supplies we need for an intradermal injection are a needleless vial access device, also known as an NVAD, which we have here, a needle that is a 25 to 28 gauge and then is 1 fourth to 5 eighths in length, some alcohol wipes, gloves, a medication vial, and a 1 ml syringe. Just like we've done before, we'll take our vial and we'll open an alcohol wipe and clean the top and allow it to air dry. We'll, at this time while it's drying, we'll set up our needleless device to our syringe. We'll double check the medication and the type that we need. Once we do that, <coughs> we will pull back the air that we need. So in this case, we'll do like 0.1 ml, which is what is typically used for an intradermal because it's a tuberculin um, injection. So we'll put that, then poke the needleless device into the bottle and insert the air. Then from there we'll pull back and pull up the 0.1 ml of the medication. 
and we will pull out the device, put the cap back on, and then remove that NVAD from the syringe and discard that to the sharps container. And then what we'll do is we'll attach the new needle, which is 25, 28 gauge, 1 fourth, and 5 eighths in length to the syringe with the medication. And then we are ready to administer. So at this point in time, we have prepared our syringe with 0.1 mLs of medication. Typically tuberculin, again, is what this kind of injection is used for. Um, I have alcohol wipes and gloves as well that I would bring with me. Um, we have entered the patient's room at this time. I have introduced myself as the nurse. I have checked the patient's identification using a medical record number, name, or um, date of birth, which we need at least one of the first two, and then definitely date of birth. I've asked about allergies, and it contains performed hand hygiene. Now we're ready to administer the medication. Um, my hands have been washed. I'm going to put on my gloves. I am then going to show you on myself here where we would do this. Um, it's typically performed with four arms, three fingers laced down from your anacubal and a three inch three above your wrist in this area. Um, when looking for the site, you want to make sure it's clear with blemishes any sort of bruising, bumps, anything like that we want to avoid. We want a nice clean space. So then what you'll do is you'll take your alcohol wipe and you'll cleanse the area. Going from air out in a circular motion, you'll let that air dry. And you'll take your needle and syringe with the bevel up for about 5 to 15 degrees insertion into the skin. You lift a little, press the medication in and look for a wheel. You will remove the needle, and then you do not want to itch or scrub, you'll cap that. Place in the sharps container. You'll remove your gloves, perform hand hygiene, make and instruct your patient not to irritate the area, and that is how you do an intradermal medication.